Hey guys, how is it going? I promise you to unbox my new XPPen Artist 24 Pro for you. So here it is. So guys, in this video, I'm gonna unbox this XPPen and show you the stuff that comes along with it. And also I'm gonna sculpt the part of a head and paint it and show you how it feels and how it works. So let's get to it. If you like this video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel to be aware of my new video tutorials per week. Thank you. I chose this tablet on my own and purchased it myself. And this video is not sponsored by XPPen or other shops. And it's just my own opinion about this tablet. Because many guys have been asking me about my experience. So I decided to record this video for you. Okay guys, let's review the XPPen Artist 24 Pro graphic tablet. Oh, it's a huge display. <laughs> It's a 24 inch display and it has a 2K resolution. Okay, let's see what's in the box. A quick guide for the tablet, HDMI cable for the display, a power adapter, a USB-A to USB-C cable for PC for the pen to work, a cable pen holder that has a pen inside where you have a second pen in case something happens to the first one, and also gloves, the USB-C to USB-C cable for the pen for those who use a Mac. So guys, as I said, the tablet has a 24 inch display and 2K resolution and a nice design. Actually, as you see, it has 20 buttons that you can set up your favorite shortcuts on them. And these two red buttons can be used, for example, for scrolling or zooming. On the top right, we have some touch surface to power on the tablet and change some setting about it. This tablet also has a stand support, which is so easy to adjust and it's a really cool thing. At the back of the tablet, we have these ports for those cables. The first one is for the power supply and you need to connect the adapter to it. And the next one that is USB-C one is for the pen to work and the HDMI one is for the display. Also, pen holder that has a pen inside which is so comfortable and so easy to work with. And the pen has a two button on that. And the good thing about it is that you don't have to charge the pen to work, which is really great. After connecting the cables, we should hit the power touch surface on the top right and let's get to it. So first, we should install the driver on our PC to be able to use the tablet. So first go to xppen.com and go to product section, then choose your tablet which is RTS24 Pro, then go to driver over here, click on it. Now you can choose the driver you need and it depends on what you use, Mac or Windows. So download the driver and install it. After that you can play with these settings here. You can change the pen settings, calibrate it, or even change the brightness or other things. You can add shortcuts to all of the buttons that I showed you earlier on the tablet. Okay guys, let's see a part of my next sculpting and painting video tutorial to show you how I feel about sculpting and even painting with this huge tablet. Since I bought this tablet, I sculpted only two characters with it and it's one of them. I need to mention that I had a smaller tablet before this and I used to sculpt with that. But since I bought this tablet, every day I see a huge 2K resolution tablet in front of me which I found it much more interesting to work with. 
If I want to talk about the screen, I can say that it has enough brightness and contrast and resolution in my opinion, and I really appreciate it. When I wanted to start sculpting using this tablet, I felt a bit weird at first and it was because of the huge screen in front of me but after sculpting one character I got used to it also I feel really comfortable when I sculpt because the screen is really nice to work with and I really like to think about how it can easily adjust Moreover, about the quality of the pen, I can say it's been really good and comfortable so far, but about the buttons on the tablet, I should say that I tried a few times to add shortcuts to them and start using them instead of the extra keyboard, but I found it so hard to get used to them. So I prefer using my own keyboard and mouse to be able to navigate and use the software hotkeys because I think it's so faster, but it could be nice if you can use the buttons on the tablet. Also, I think the pressure sensitivity is so nice now, but can be improved more. An interesting thing about this tablet is the cost of it. You know, compared to other graphic tablets with these features and qualities and size, it can enable the artist to buy this tablet at an affordable price and consider it as their first option. I don't say that this is the best tablet ever, but I think the feeling of 3D sculpting, texturing and 2D drawing is great and I like it. So all in all, I would recommend using this tablet for 2D and 3D digital artists if you're searching for a good quality, huge screen and budget-friendly graphic tablet. You know, I think it's worth using this for 2D and 3D stuff. In terms of color accuracy, I would say it matches pretty well and it seems to work for me. And guys, I like to mention that for me, this tablet fulfills all of the sculpting needs I have at first, it can be tricky for you to switch from PC or other types of tablets to this tablet, but after a short time, like a week, you'll get used to it and you'll like it. I have also iPad Pro, but as you know, you can't use Blender or ZBrush on that and you need one of these tablets to be able to use them. Guys, I added some affiliate links in the description below if you like to know more about it or buy it. If you're interested to learn 3D sculpting and modeling, you can subscribe to my channel to be aware of my new sculpting tutorials. If you still have any questions, just ask me in the comment section below. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.